Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome to this brand new series on Python and MapLit. In this video, we're going to be going ahead and understanding how to create a very own pie chart in MapLit. Now, I recently launched a brand new Udemy course, Python and MapLit Data Analysis and Visualization. If any of you are interested in enrolling that course, you will gain a complete and comprehensive understanding of MapLit for data visualization. You'll learn how to customize graphs, modify colors, lines, and fonts, and you'll learn how to create a variety of 2D and 3D charts. You can take a look at the link in the information section of this video or in the pinned comment section. Otherwise, back to the video. So again, guys, today we're making a pie chart. Now, what is a pie chart? A pie chart is basically a bunch of different values and the percentages of all these different values add up to 100. It's a circular graph and MapPolib makes it very easy to create a pie chart. So let's go ahead and install MapPolib if we haven't already. Go ahead and go to terminal and you're going to say pip or pip3 depending on your version pip3 install matplotlib. Now again, if you are using PyCharm like I am, you can go to PyCharm, preferences, and then inside of preferences, guys, you can go to project, project interpreter, and then go ahead and add the matplotlib sort of uh, module over here. So you can search for matplotlib, guys, and install that just like that if you want. Both of those scenarios work. I already have matplotlib installed, but go ahead and get matplotlib installed. Once you have that, guys, the next step is to go ahead and import matplotlib. We're going to say import matplotlib, and the module of matplotlib that we're using is pyplot as plt. Okay, so this is the nomenclature that most people use for importing matplotlib. They call it plt, and we're going to refer to matplotlib to pyplot as plt throughout this video. After that, guys, we need to go ahead and create our figure. So again, our pie chart needs to be a square. That way, our circle will look perfectly round. And the way we can do this, guys, is by using the figure function, plt.figure, and then pass in the fig size parameter. So we're going to say over here, plt.figure, pass in fig size is equal to 5, 5. All right. So what this does, guys, is this one is going to go ahead and create a blank figure that's 5 inches by 5 inches. And then for now, we'll just go ahead and say plt.show. All right. So go ahead and run this, Control shift r if you're using PyCharm, and there we go. A blank figure that's 5 inches by 5 inches. Fantastic. The next step, guys, is to actually create our pie chart. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create some data, guys. We need two sets of data. One is going to be the labels for our data. For now, I'm going to go into countries. And then the second is going to be the values. So let's just say we're doing a random pie chart about population numbers of a specific city. I'm going to go ahead and just throw in some random numbers, and that's going to be our data. So first thing first, labels. I'm going to do five countries, guys. Again, in quotation marks, let's do USA. Let's say China. Let's do India. Let's do Canada. And then let's do Turkey. Okay, there we go. So we have our five countries. And then every one of these countries needs to have its respective value. So once we have these five values, we can plot the entire pie chart. So over here, guys, I'm going to say values is equal to. And then the values, make sure they're integers. So in this scenario, let's go ahead and just say 25, 10, 15, 40, and 23. Okay, so I have five different numbers that correspond to my five different countries. I have my labels and I have my values. Once you have these two uh, sort of arrays, guys, the next step is to go ahead and plot them. The function that we use to create pie charts in matplotlib is going to be the pie function. So you're going to say plt.pi, and inside of the pie function, you're going to go ahead and pass in two values, your values and your labels. So you're going to say values for your data points, and then the labels is equal to labels. There we go. So plt.py values comma labels is equal to labels plt.show. That's it. That's all you need for creating your very own pie chart, guys. Go ahead and save this and run it. Let's take a look. And we see a small error over here. I expect a label. Looks like it's supposed to say labels. My bad. Go ahead and save that and run it. And there we go. We have our very first pie chart, guys, with our five different colors, red, green, yellow, blue, purple, and our five labels, Canada, India, China, USA, and Turkey. Fantastic. Now, one thing that I really miss about pie charts is the actual corresponding value. How much percentage is this really? How much percentage is USA? How much percentage is India? So on and so forth. So you can actually tell uh, matplotlib to go ahead and show you those labels by specifying a specific parameter in the pie function called auto percentage, auto PCT. Inside of this, guys, go ahead and copy this function, percent dot one F percent, and then percent one more time. But basically how this works, guys, is the percent point one F corresponds to show me the value of the, the corresponding percentage up to one decimal place. And then the percent percent corresponds to the percent sign. So if you go ahead and save this, run it, let's take a look. We get 
13.3, 8.8, 22.1, 20.4, 35.5, so on and so forth. Awesome. So over here, guys, we're successfully able to create our very own pie chart. We we're able to add the percentage values as well. To show you a couple more cool features, one cool feature that I like about Lib with pie charts is the explode, guys. What you can actually do is you can pop out a specific segment however much you want. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and create an explode array. And the way this is going to work, guys, is you can specify which one you want to pop out. So I'm going to pop out my biggest section over here, which is Canada. What that means is I'm going to say 0, 0, 0, 0 0.05, and then 0. Okay? So I basically say that I'm not going to touch these four, but my fifth one, Canada, or in this scenario, the fourth one, I want to pop that out by 0 0.05. So you can go ahead and see how that works. Go ahead and save this. Over here, after auto percentage, go ahead and say comma, explode is equal to explode. Explode again is our list over here of the five values. Go ahead and save this guys, run it, and let's take a look. Fantastic. So as you can see over here, our pie chart exploded by a small ratio of 0 0.05. If you increase it, you can try playing around with it. You can explode various segments. You can explode it how much you want. Last but not least guys is the colors. So we have our pie chart, we have our percentages, we have our explode. I don't like the color scheme. What can I do about it, guys? You can specify the colors. You can either create a separate array or put it inside. I'm going to go ahead and create a separate array of colors. Colors is going to be equal to. Again, you can go ahead and specify hex values. You can specify RGB values. Um, there are certain colors that correspond to in matplotlib that I'm going to go ahead and use. In this scenario, C for cyan, uh, B, I believe that's blue, uh, G for green, R for red, and then let's go ahead and do one more uh, K for black. Uh, K1 show actually, let's do uh, yellow. There we go. So C, B, G, R, Y. These are five corresponding sort of shorthands for colors. And then over here, after explode guys, I'm gonna say comma, colors is equal to my colors array. So basically you can sort of tell how to customize your pie chart now. You pass in values, you pass in labels, auto percentage, explode, colors, basically however way you wanna create your pie chart. And then over here, I have my fantastic pie chart with my new colors. Awesome job, guys. That was the gist of how to create your very own pie chart and Matplotlib and customize it. Again, if you like this video, if you want to learn more about Matplotlib and create your very own charts and customization, take a look at my brand new Python course with Matplotlib. Learn how to create, visualize, and analyze data, and learn how to create a variety of 2D and 3D charts. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for listening, and I will see you in the next video.